video seems 3 is crashing, then we know how to fix it. Watch this video till the end and learn how to solve this problem. Hey, you're watching Silicophilic, the home for all tech users. Sims 3 is a pretty old game and should run comfortably on most modern PC setups. When it does crash on your PC, simply perform the solutions we have shown here to fix it. Before we get into the solution, subscribe to our channel for future tech support. Also, like this video if it helps you solve this issue. Don't forget to comment your feedback on the solutions or if you are facing any issue while performing them. We also have a Facebook group of troubleshooting experts where you can share your tech issues and get direct help. The link to the group is in the pinned comment. Now let's jump into the solutions. The first thing you need to do is check whether your system meets the recommended requirements of the game. Check if your system meets the required hardware specifications to run the game. If you lack the minimum requirements or barely meet it, your game will likely crash. Method 2 The next thing you need to do is check if the game is up to date or not. Make sure to update Sims 3 to the latest available version and check if that solves this issue. Method 3 Another thing you can do is run Sims 3 in windowed mode. Launch Sims 3 and open the settings. Open the graphics tab and change the display type to windowed mode. Apply the changes and see if it fixes the issue. Method 4. The next thing you can try is deleting the missing depths.idx file from the Sims 3 installation folder. Navigate to Electronic Arts, Sims 3, Cache. Locate the missing depths.idx file and delete it. Method 5. The next thing you can try is update the graphics driver. Right click on the start menu and select device manager. Expand the display adapters section. Right click on the graphics driver and select update driver. Click on the search automatically for drivers option and windows will begin to search for the latest available drivers. After installing the latest drivers, restart your system. Now check if you can play the game smoothly. So that's it. If this video has helped you in figuring this issue, then give us a like and subscribe to our channel. If the issue isn't resolved from the solutions we have shown here, Comment below to let us know and our team will try their best to help you out. Also join our Facebook group for direct tech support. The link to the group is in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching Silicophilic.